Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! October 7th, Drew Studio. It also has some of the best music in the game. Yeah, this is good. Wow, this looks like... it looks like a studio. It's like life imitating art, or maybe it's the other way around? Hmm. But the tape on the ground there, it's a bit jarring. Yeah. Looks like we found our crime scene. Apollo, look at all those paintings! Hey, don't touch those! It's okay, I'm just looking. Ooh la la, is it Picasso art? <laughs> and a puffer fit, that's really realistic. That's amazing. That one's unfinished. And then there's a dude. Huh? Apollo, look at this one. Looks half finished. You can still see the rough sketch underneath. But that's odd. The rough part doesn't look like the rest of the painting at all. Yeah, good point. That is odd. Drew Misham's paintings added to the court record. Okay. All the paintings have a really different style, too. Uh, thought we might find you two here? I'm guessing it's Emma. Yes, I was right! <laughs> Emma, long time no see. Oh, seems like I run into you far too often. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's the best! <laughs> this game is filled with pretty women. <laughs> <laughs> pretty women but, but, down the street. Pretty women. But I think the, the prettiest woman is the one who just chomps down on snack who's all the <laughs> I have weird taste. Nah, oh, I, oh, I, oh, oh, it's a pun! Oh, it's uh, a pun that I didn't even mean. <laughs> How about I know why you're here? You too. That I had weird uh, phrasing. You know about the trial simulation tomorrow? I've heard about it, sure. So Mr. Wright chose you, huh? We don't even know what the case is about. <laughs> well, he was killed. Artist who owned the studio, that is. Mr. Drew Misham. He's Einstein. <laughs> we we. Misham. And his daughter was put under arrest. Yeah, we just saw her at the detention center. It's funny, though. She seemed more like a victim than a kind of person who could commit murder. It's always the quiet ones you gotta worry about. <laughs> don't say. Not even by poisoning. That's how it was done, you know. You know what? It's that cocoon. It's all coming together. <laughs> cocoon from last case still existed. Got it in. Poison. Ba-bam. <laughs> Ba-bam. <laughs> Poisoning's a common way to get the job done when the murder is a woman. Wow, Emma. Real <laughs> sexist of you. Are you saying women can't stab people with knives? Have you not played Doki Doki with Wow. But I would say, not that I murder people, but if I was to murder someone, I wouldn't want to do anything where I'd have to lug a body around. Good to know. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'm lazy. It's common to get the job done when the murder is a woman. <laughs> Emma can only get away with that because she is a woman. Yeah. P poisoning Anyway, Mr. Wright told me you'd be coming. Feel free to take a look around. I'll just be over here with my snack -hoos. We can't talk to anyone related to this case this time around. Which means we'd better find out as much as we can here at the scene. Or else. <laughs> so, this, uh, Drew Misham was some kind of artist? Apparently. Did a lot of illustrations for books, I hear. Had a lot of female fans, too, for what it's worth. Oh, well, I guess this stuff is kind of pretty. Like that oil painting over there, for instance. Um, yeah. That wasn't one of his illustrations, actually. Huh? So it was a standalone painting or something? Is that what she means? He was an odd bird, Misham. No offense, but kind of a lot of artists I feel like are pretty odd. Yeah. I don't... The, the ones that are famous usually have like really weird deaths based on how they did art and Van stuff. Go. Van I Gogh. I don't remember how Picasso died. It wasn't suicide, was it? He didn't die. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> not the... I... Th I was about to say Da Vinci was normal, but Da Vinci was not normal, but- Da Vinci was not normal. He was a genius, though. He was really cool. Michelangelo was fairly normal. Yeah. I guess. Hadn't Speaking shown his Bible. face to anyone until the end. What do you mean, to anyone? He was always locked up in here in the studio, apparently. His only connection to the outside world was through letters he'd put in that letterbox there. Letters? Do people still write letters? What do you mean, Apollo? 
I mean, when was the last time you wrote a real letter? Don't most people use email and stuff these days? Not Mr. Misham. Couldn't stand technology, it seems. He did everything by mail. Maybe he thought that that was the way it would look more artistic, you know? Letterbox added to the court record. In any case, the only person besides him allowed in here was his daughter, Vera. Oh, you mean the killer! The suspect, please! <laughs> we took some fingerprints, of course. The only ones found in the room were Mr. Misham's and Vera's, basically. Basically? Actually, last night... Oh, wait, hang on, I want to check. Vera, 19! Oh, okay. Well, College student! What? Oh, that, yeah, that's true. That's weird. And it's got 25! Super <laughs> Closer epic. to my age. I'm 52. <laughs> I'm 52. Actually, last night, Mr. Misham gave an interview to a reporter for the first time. Probably the reporter killed them. <laughs> it happened during the interview, apparently. So, can I ask you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, was, was poisoning. I just did a stabbing motion. <laughs> And so, maybe he poured it for the guy's ear like they did in Hamlet. What? Yeah, in Hamlet. Uh, I think Claudius, who is a.k.a. Scar, basically. Okay, okay. Um, he kills, I think, the cane by pouring poison through his ear. Or, How do you casually do that? Oh, he doesn't casually do that. It's like a very he's brutal like murder. He's holding him down and then trying to do that? Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> How put, it, do put it in your interview. tea like normal people. His first interview ever. Could you tell us a bit more about what happened the night of the murder? Yeah, I guess. So, this woman, Vera, um, she's Mr. Misham's daughter, right? Yep. A real sickly girl ever since she was little. Hardly ever went outside. This is like Sailor Saturn! Okay. Uh, we were talking about it's tuxedo masks and stuff. <laughs> she did kind of give off a weird withdrawn sort of aura. She was homeschooled by her father, apparently. Oh, Best character, A+. Plus. Yeah, but they're gonna be like, oh man, she's the murderer, and she's homeschooled! All homeschoolers are murderers! <laughs> kind of. And we have our video title. <laughs> All homeschoolers are murderers. Oh, no, I'm not gonna name it that. <laughs> she was homeschooled. It was quite a scene when they took her to the detention center. She was screaming about how she'd die if they took her outside. Okay, not all homeschoolers are like that, people. In fact, remarkably few are. Most people would like to go outside, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, I this, sound, this sounds more like if she's a vampire. I can't go outside, I'll die! Wait, let me take my sunglasses. I want to make, Maybe like, more. a game with, like, magic and stuff where there's, like, a vampire who wears sunglasses and that's a way he can be outside in the sunlight. But <laughs> what about the rest of his skin? I haven't fought it through. <laughs> He's just wearing like a ski mask, and then all. Hey, guy! I mean, hey, guys! <laughs> Clearly, there's not a yeah. vampire. That does sound like a scene. In the end, she agreed to leave if she was allowed to get get her good, allowed her good luck charm for company. Her good luck charm. Apparently, she has this charm that magically gives her the courage to go outside. Why can't I ever get a normal client? <laughs> There are no normal But why would a shut-in daughter kill her own dad? Don't look at me. So, about the poison, it was found to be in his coffee, right? No. Not precisely. Not precisely? What does that mean? It means see for yourself, I think. Like I said, last night was the first time someone from the outside came to the studio. I guess mysterious painters who never go outside make for good articles. And it just so happened that he died the night of his first interview. At around 9 p.m. every night, Vera always made him a cup of coffee. Aw, she looks so cute in that outfit. What the heck? In like her paw print apron? Yeah. Last night he drank his usual coffee and suddenly became violently ill. And died? She poisoned him on the night of the interview. Wouldn't the reporter have seen? wasn't near Mr. Misham when she brought her father his coffee. He was checking out some equipment in the back of his room. That's a very different side of the room. <laughs> yeah. He's like, art. Oh, oh, look what's on the desk. Hello, I'm Ray. <laughs> uh, we've already made that joke. But that like, look, that's the like same color. It's like sciencey <laughs> stuff on the other side. He was checking out the equipment in the back of the room. <laughs> Supposedly, that's why she didn't notice he was there. It was the reporter who called the police, in fact. Wait, but why is she the suspect? If anyone is suspicious, it's the reporter! And yet the reporter never got near Mr. Misham's coffee. 
Even Vera acknowledges that. Regardless, I want to know more about this reporter. Maybe the reporter is like, um... Mine heart, y'all! No. Oh my gosh, I will be so mad if it is! I got a scoop! This I guy was a painter! No! It's totally gonna be, I bet. Otherwise, I'm picturing, like, what's her face from Harry Potter 4? Rita Skeeter. Rita Skeeter. Oh, she's worse than Wada. Way worse. That's what I'm picturing. This letterbox looks kind of funny to be sitting in a room like this. Let's take a look. Empty. The other half of the letterbox is actually connected to the outside of the studio. I like the idea of, like, whenever she has this face, you're like, Oh, no! <laughs> that was in the next studio. Mr. Misham would have put his letters in there. And the postman took them away. Impressive that someone still writes letters in this day and age. Or wrote, rather. <laughs> hey! There's a painting hidden back here. Hey, you're right! What if it's embarrassing somehow, and he didn't want anyone to see it? It's a portrait of a nude woman. I mean, maybe. <laughs> because, you know, art. Art. <laughs> you certainly seem pleased by the possibility that it's a nude woman, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> huh, it's so normal. That's hardly something to get mad about. It's the exact same... Huh? What is it, Apollo? Well, doesn't this painting look like... Never mind. It looks exactly the Looks same. like something out of the Yamadas, where it's like, oh, there's a giant peach floating down the river, a crack's open, and there's a baby inside. <laughs> <laughs> I better was... get a professional opinion on this. The beginning of that movie's really weird, and the rest of it's- That so whole weird. movie is really weird, but it's okay, also but very the hilarious. The beginning is like, eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, he's the... riding on his bicycle away from a giant snail that his family are on and throwing things at him. <laughs> That is actually it's a part of the movie. It's all mine, anyway. <laughs> hey, come back here! I don't want to get away. Ah, uh, that's the victim's coffee mug. Aha! So the poison was in here. This is my first time seeing a real poison mug of coffee. I would hope so. <laughs> poison coffee. Not exactly, actually. What do you mean? No traces of poison were found in the coffee. What happened? What? You'll have to figure out the rest yourself. I'm officially not on your side, after all. I want you on my side, Emma. <laughs> Coffee mug added to the court record. Okay. We should just, like, do Dad, open up! <laughs> <laughs> and pour it through his ear. <laughs> not me, maybe. Hey, Apollo, that's where the body was. That's the spot where Mr. Drew Misham passed away. He put the coffee mug to his lips in the next moment. There's quite a bit of paint on the ground. See that half pin... But see that half painted painting in there? He must have been <coughs> working on the right up to the moment he died. Wow! A true artist to the end! Or maybe he started it a year ago and was procrastinating. <laughs> you don't plug your nose. <laughs> I was plugging my mouth, thank you very much. It looked like your arm and then do the open ear and I wouldn't mind taking a closer look at those paintings. Do -do -do -do. I just love oils, you know, how they're so thick? Is that the word? I like oil paintings too. They're fine, they're hard. These paints are all dry. I'm just surprised at how different these all are. Yeah, and what's going on with this half-finished one? It must have been a work in progress. You can still see the rough sketch below. That's what's so weird. The sketch part doesn't really fit the finished parts. I noticed. That is weird. I was like, yeah, whatever. Don't care. Hello, Ray. <laughs> no clues here. <laughs> it's just a lamp. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this desk here. Oh my gosh. I was about to be like, he got a Tony Award. And then I was like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> so this is Drew Mission? And this little girl must be Vera. Yeah, they took that some years ago. They look close. A happy little family. Until you arrested his daughter. Ah! Look, I was personally against that, okay? She just doesn't seem very suspicious, scientifically speaking. Uh-huh, right. Is that an Oscar in the objection pose? Hmm, something about the way that figure is posed. I've seen that pose before. It's you, Apollo! See, you're making one of your flamboyant gestures! Please, I am a professional. I wonder why it's posed like that. Coincidence? He was drawing Phoenix right. Duh. Hey, Apollo, what's this feathery thing? 
Isn't that a pen? Looks like an old-fashioned quill pen. But it doesn't have a pointy end. That was most likely for sweeping Duritus. Detritus. Detritus off the desk. Wow, you sure know a lot, Emma. Bold and scientific. That's my motto. Exactly what about that was bold or scientific? <laughs> Ooh, cute! Look at this tiny frame, Apollo. I looked at the books, but okay. Tiny is right. That means barely two inches high. What picture would fit in that? None, apparently. It's empty. There's no glass in it, either. What's it doing sitting on the desk? This is a lesson for us all. Be sure to check the size when you buy frames. Is this a journal? Wow, talk about a clue. Let's read it. What is it, Apollo? He didn't write the name of the killer, did he? It's new. He didn't write a single line. Ah, you had me going for a while there. No desk lamp? No desk lamp. Boo. Oh, desk lamp? Nobody cares. This envelope has been opened and resealed. Ooh! I know how to do that. You take a pot of boiling water and hold the envelope up to the sea. The glue melts and it opens. Cool, huh? Whoever did this wasn't so delicate. You're right. Looks like they just ripped it open and stuck it back together. Huh? The postmark on this letter is from seven years ago. Why would someone open a letter, then seal it again? Hmm, I better hang on to this. This probably has to do with the weird case. I mean... Red envelope added to the court record? From seven years ago with Phoenix Wright. The, the, and then the Phoenix, Phoenix Wright was like, okay, I've got my simulation case, and then this pops up, he's like, never mind. No, this, this is gonna be better. Gonna be better. Look at all these paints, Apollo. There's so many. He's got, like, 20 kinds of red. We could repaint your suit, Apollo. How about this shade of green? That'll be enough of that, thanks. Is this like a helium tank? No clues here. That's a helium tank! Inhale it. <laughs> What's all this equipment here for? It doesn't look very artistic, really. He had everything from a lath to a laser lathe. cutter. A lathe? What's a lathe? A lathe is... So, how to describe it? It's kind of like a drill, where, like, it's this giant machine. You can, like, put something, like... So I used it in my robotics class oh, in high school. okay. So, like, what you could do is, like, you, like, set up, like, a... It's like a drill point, kind of, but, like, like, on the edge, and it'll, like, spin around, like, a wheel, and then, like, the middle part spins, and it, like, carves patterns. Oh, like, the... like a pottery wheel, kind of. Kind of, but for, like, metal. But for metal, okay. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It looks like he was ready to work on metals and wood, too. Though his equipment's a bit old, to tell the truth. Why would a painter need all this? From the dust? I too he hasn't used this stuff for years. You're supposed to be chewing, not like, I have a cold! <laughs> <laughs> the corner doesn't fit with the rest of the studio. Or do you- oh, do you think I could borrow this? I want to cut a quarter in half to make a trick coin. This is a crime scene, Trucy! These cost like 50 bucks at the magic shop! I can totally see Trucy being the type to just hang out at the magic shop. Be like, ooh, this is cool. This is new. What's oh, all this equipment here for? Oh, the same stuff. I want to cut a quarter in half. So, that's a microscope. Oh, we don't see the lathe here. The lathe. Is this a desk for painting, Apollo? That would be the drafting table. Drafting? Basically, it's a tool for making precise diagrams. Wow, painting's harder than I thought. Why would a painter need a drafting table? Was he an architect too? Do, 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 do. Let's examine some stuff. Yo, Emma, what up? There's Cod. What a pretty business card. Looks like a postcard almost. And on the back, hmm, just her name. That seems odd to me. Huh? What does? Why write your name on the front and back of a card? Why not just use space on the back for a self-portrait? Or a caricature? Then people would remember what you look like, too. That's not a bad idea, actually. Here, give me one of your cards, Apollo. She's drawing something. Hey, my hair is not that spiky! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm imagining them doing this in the midst of the crime scene. Yeah, totally. Well, what do we have here? It looks like a person thinking about something. Oh, I guess that is. This is kind of weird Yeah, it's art. like the nose, eye, mouth or mustache, crossed arms. It's very yeah. abstract. Maybe they're worried? 
Like, what what should I have for supper? A hot dog or a hamburger? You know, I always wondered about that. Why is there supper and dinner? Are they different meals or the same thing? Maybe that's what this person's thinking about. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Oh, this is an acrylic. This looks nice. Is oh, that- acrylic is so fun. Is that a puffer fish? Apollo, that's clearly a porcupine fish. They're tricky. Yep. <laughs> They're not the same thing? You know what gets me? They've got all these needles, right? But what's protecting that soft spot on the lower belly there? Nothing. Must remember to keep Trucy away from small round fish. It's also called fugu. Oh, I love fugu. No, Not you don't. It. Uh. Let's turn it around. Dude, doesn't look like I can examine this. Oh, there we go. Apollo, look at this painting. You can see the rough sketch. Oh, looks like it was only half completed. More like three quarters completed. Thank you very much. More than huh? that, actually. That's funny. Do the rough sketch and the finished painting look totally different to you, too? They do, actually. What's that all about? It's more like seven-eighths completed. Okay. Hey, Apollo! This painting! I know it! Huh? Really? It's that story where the old woman's doing the wash in the river. And this giant peach comes a-floating on down! That might possibly be the strangest thing I have ever heard. Oh, you have never been to high school, clearly. Yeah. He also was homeschooled. Am. Mum. <laughs> it says mom on it. Maybe it was her mom's huh? mom. Hey, look there! That stain doesn't look so healthy, Apollo. That must be the Blue Mountain stuff we've been hearing about. Something tells me that even Blue Mountain coffee isn't this blue. No, this stain is probably... Hmm, better ask Emma. You am Emma. The red envelope. Oh, yes. Is that Meta Knight crying on the side? <laughs> the answer is yes. Meta Knight. Apollo, look. It's been open once here. You're right. I wonder if there's some way we can see what's inside. Should I try to get it open and then stick it back shut? Let's not tamper with the evidence, shall we? I've got a better idea. Emma! Let's ask her. When in doubt, ask Emma. Emma knows all. Emma's the best. Um, Emma, about this mug, there's a pale blue, uh, residue on the rim. Uh, uh, that! Yes, well, it's just a rumor. But I've heard there's a kind of coffee called Blue Mountain. I'm pretty sure it isn't actually blue, Emma. Ah, uh, right. Okay, you got me. That's left over from my testing spray. Forensic science! I knew your hobby was behind this somehow, Emma! It's not a hobby. So, what kind of scientific stuff were you up to? This spray. That's what. It turns blue when it touches poison. So the poison that killed the victim was on this mug? That's right. See? It wasn't in the coffee. The killer applied it to the rim of the mug itself. Wow, science is amazing. It certainly is helpful. Maybe Emma'd be willing to help us out a bit more. You should try buttering her up, Apollo. They say flattery will get you everywhere. It's certainly worth talking to her a bit more. See, that's interesting because if it was all around the rim, I actually don't drink my out of my mug with my lips on the rim. I put the lips on the inside. So the poison wouldn't get on if someone Oh, but you have like the that. weird mug though. I have the weird mug. The one without a handle. Or are you talking about your Tigger mug? I'm talking about all of them. Oh. I will, like, my, it'll be resting on my chin, and then I can drink it. Sometimes I'll put the lips on the rim, but not always. Okay. Emma, about this. Oh, that! Uh, yes, why, that's a bright red envelope. She sure is jumpy. Someone opened this, didn't they? My lips are sealed. Y your lips are sealed? That's a first. You mean, you know what's inside the envelope? Sure. I read it, after all. Ah! You mean, you are the one who ripped this open? Ha! Please! I would have steamed it open. But she did sneak a peek at it, apparently. <laughs> I love that smile of hers. Know that I have a powerful weapon on my side. Weapon? Yes. The use of tools. 
highly specialized tools for information gathering. Tool? <laughs> wow. <laughs> tools I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. You should try flattering her, Apollo. They say a little praise can open big doors. Emma, you were so hot. Go on a date with me. <laughs> Never heard that one before, but it's good advice. <laughs> oh, Emma, I was wondering about this painting here. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, that one. What about it? What about it? Yeah, what about it, Apollo? Take a closer look at it, both of you. Now look at this one. This is the third painting he was working on. Hey, they're the same. I was hoping you wouldn't find that. You're right, though. Drew Misham, or Drew Misham was copying this painting. Wow, it's pretty good. Copying a painting? What for? <laughs> Snackoos, our life. This is so good. I bet Emma could help us out here. Don't forget, flattery will get you everywhere with her, Apollo. Huh? What are you two whispering about? Well, I was thinking. I mean, what is it that we always do when we run into you at a crime scene? What is it we always do scientifically? Ah, you know me too well. Okay. Okay, her smile is the exact same as Lana's, and it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Okay, meaning we can get um, scientific now? Oh, yeah. That's, this is like the weirdest <laughs> getting this out of context. Oh, I suppose. Just this once. Oh, yeah! yeah literally. <laughs> Bring me anything you find suspicious and we'll check it out. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait a T for T. <laughs> hey, you have to be 13 years or older to watch this video anyways. It's Do fine. You? I put the disclaimer in every start yeah. of every video. Yeah, but there's still some idiots who are like, oh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Emma, about the mug. I want that spray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Forensic science. Um, about poison analysis. I was afraid you were going to ask about that. See, this solution's used to test for atroquinine! Atroquinine. Atroquinine! <laughs> Clavier mentioned it in the Gavineers case. Where he's like, our hit single, My Love, Atroquinine. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Atro, huh? Atroquinine, the deadly poison found in the autopsy. Uh-oh, I know that spark in her eyes. She's getting excited. Better tread lightly. It's one of the most virulent... Yep, virulent. ...virulent poisons, but it's absorbed into the body astonishingly slowly. It takes at least 15 minutes from the time of ingestion for adverse effects to show. Oh, and guess what? Recent research has shown... Th that's fine, really! We don't need to know all the gory details. <laughs> I think I get it. You just spray this stuff on something you want to test, right? Precisely. You can find even the slightest trace of poison with this. I want to try too, Emma. Pretty please. You don't have to ask twice. I already used it on everything suspicious, of course. Yay! Let's give it a whirl, Apollo. Clearly- Ah! What are you doing? I was just seeing if I got a reaction off of you. How's this for a reaction? Never do that again! I'm not poisonous! Tell that to those- Hapless witnesses on the stand. Let's just get down to checking for real poison, shall we? What were you gonna say? Uh, Emma has missed evidence before, though. Yeah, it's true. Firecrackers under the sofa! Didn't find that till the second day. Yep. <laughs> so what's this? Someone threw their underwear in the trash. Didn't see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Who would go looking through the trash That's and be true. like, underpants? This is. Oh, also, weird. Emma gave us blue glasses, and I want to see that. <laughs> I paint with poison, did you know? <laughs> She's probably on the desk. No, maybe not. Everything's suspicious, huh? Nothing. She's like, you're wasting all my dang poison. <laughs> poison? <laughs> poison finder. Yeah. Too bad, no reaction there. I'm sure Emma checked out all the likely spots. Wait a second. What is it, Apollo? Did you spray that little desk over there? I don't think so. The spray probably can't reach that far, you know? Let's check it out just to be sure. 
Oh wow, it's in there. Wondered about that. Eee! A reaction, Apollo. Ah! Where, where, where? The inside of this cute little frame, look. Well, would you look at that. Nice going, Trucy. I'm known to work magic. Never mind that I was the one who found it. Tiny frame added to the court record. Why would the inside of that frame have poison on it? It looks like we found the only ever place that was poisoned in any case. Oh, nothing else. Okay. This is a good theme. Yeah, this is the core theme. Emma, about this. Oh, about that. that! That's a red envelope. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Uh, about that envelope we found, I was wondering if you could help us out with, uh, that tool you were mentioning? <laughs> you want to know about my tool, do you? Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's called an x-ray analyzer. X-ray? Like the x-rays you get at the dentist? That's right. At least, that's what I call it. Huh? It has a real name, but it's much more complicated. The x-ray spectralization. Something. How am I supposed to remember all that? So basically it lets you see inside things, like envelopes. That's right, you're sharp, Trucy. But it's a bit more complicated than that in practice, of course. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm not really sure how it works scientifically. Can I try it out, Emma? Please? Well, I suppose. Of course, I've already checked out everything suspicious myself. Now you said that about the poison spray, and look what oh, we found- right! Let's give it a spin, Apollo. Oh, this- yeah! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, just seeing if I could see through your hair, but it's like lead. Point that thing at me anymore and it might all fall out! <laughs> then I wouldn't need an x-ray machine to see through it. Let's just get down to business, shall we? To defeat the Huns. Right. Let's test on this stuff. Er, let's test it on a sample first. It just so happens that I have a lottery ticket here. Nice! Let's see if we're a winner. Oh, this is probably my favorite of the tools to use. You set the sample on the device like so. I don't see anything. Oh, it's, it's going to be less fun on the, <laughs> the computer, though. <laughs> Patience, there's no need to get all antsy. Look at the right side of the screen. That's the layer view of the envelope. Layer view? You've got to set, or you've got it set to display the outside of the envelope now, see? Actually, it's quicker to just have you give it a try. Turn that dial there for me, would you? That's right, that's how you choose what depth you want to scan. Hey, I got something! See, that's how you can read the letter was on the ticket inside. Cool, huh? Except, I can't read them. Just turn the dial a little more. What you have to understand is that a sheet of paper isn't really flat at all. When you zoom in that much, you see the paper is like a bunch of hills and valleys. Wow, really? This x-ray device uses a beam with a wavelength of only 0 0.05 microns. It breaks the cards down into thin layers, so it can only show what's written on each layer. I'm not entirely following you, but what good is it if you can't read anything? That's why we go on to step two. Try rubbing the image a bit, if you would. The image? You mean rub the screen? Actually, this will still be fine on the computer. There, that fixes the image on the screen. Now, turn the dial again just a little. Good, now you can rub this image to fix it too. Hey, I get it! We just keep doing this until we've got the whole thing. Exactly, not bad. Neat, let's do some more. I like this, this is cool. My. But now, because she skipped the one back up here, we gotta go back. That's your lottery number. You lose. All I do is lose, lose, lose. I can't help myself. That's all of it. Never mind, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. It's still charred a bit. You can read it, though. Oh, now you can really... <laughs> you defeated! Okay, let's print this one out. You lose! You lose! Ouch, you lose. At least you know where you stand, eh? Emma just lugs this into, like, the convenience store. It's just, like, <laughs> scanning all the wire tickets. I want this one. What? <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, now you see the true hidden power of my weapon. 
Neat, huh? Now let's try it out on this real thing, shall we? I think this is the best of the scientific fans in this game. It is pretty cool. It's very unique. Dear so-and-so, it has come to my attention the blah blah blah. I am the Dear daughter. I, I'm the uh, mother of Winguini. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make that reference. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like the only like cursive letter that I've seen in a lot of like movies and stuff. That took me so long to figure out how to read. No living it. <laughs> I have no living it. I have a son. <laughs> We watched that movie way too much. That's why we both thought oh, of it. That's a fantastic movie. One of my favorites. That's that is my favorite Pixar movie. Is that your favorite movie though? Very close. If so, okay. Let's print this one out. Dear Mr. Mission, I deposited the one hundred thousand dollars in the designated account. Please send in a receipt once you've confirmed the transfer. Someone deposited a hundred thousand dollars into Mr. Mission's account. His paintings must be really valuable. There's another page in there. Care to take a look? You bet I do! If we're going to read someone's mail, you might as well read it all! Here goes with the second page, then. There must be a third page. Not necessarily. Well, there's something underneath it. It's got distinctive layers. No. Distinctive layers. This part right here is the writing, and the part underneath that is the paper. Oh. At least that's what I think. I'm glad you don't have to get every pixel. Yeah, me too. That would be really annoying. This has to be enough. Well, the proper blah blah blah. Uh, I'll give you this hundred thousand dollars if you give oh, me your daughter. Okay. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> not like give like hand in marriage. Not like give me your daughter. That, no, ransom. that's still bad though. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's print this one out. Sign the papers and send in the enclosed envelope with the enclosed stamp within three days. I need to not remind you to speak of this to no one. So it was a letter about payment for one of his paintings. Why all the secrecy, though? And... And what? Why was this letter the only one in here? It's seven years old, right? Maybe it had some special significance to him. Well, Emma? Well, indeed. She knows something she's not telling us. Looks like she's keeping mum about it. Red envelope updated in the court record. So, Emma, I was wondering, what's the story about this reporter that came here for the story of the night of the crime? Uh, I'm afraid I can't tell you because he's going to be a witness tomorrow, I hear. Oh, great, it's a he. I thought so. Lotto Heart. Lotto Heart. <laughs> I wonder <want a> Lotto. <laughs> 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 That's a great name for a rapper. I'll never forget that face, but what was his name? Oh, right! Brushel. Brushel? He's after a scoop to sell to the papers. Like, a lot of heart. So a reporter comes in for an interview of a painter, his first interview ever, and that night he's killed. Seems strange to you? Really strange. It does raise a few questions. I'd like to speak with this reporter if I could. Well, I hear he's on the beat today, too. He said something about covering a magician. Magician? Well, if it's not Trucy, that leaves only one other person. There are only two magicians in the whole universe. <laughs> it wasn't Valent Grammary by any chance, was it? Yeah, something like that. He's got a big show lined up, I hear. So he's out interviewing Valent Grammary. Looks like I'll be heading out to that Coliseum again sooner than I thought. Here, I'll give you that reporter's card if you want. Brushel's card added to the court record. All right, time to end the episode. Yeah. This might have to get split into two since it's over an hour long. But that's it was just got, so fun. That's because we laugh a lot. <laughs> that's true. It's because we spent like 15 minutes being like, oh. Mr. Stewart. <laughs> oh, Mr. Stewart. Stewart. He's funny. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. This is going to be an awesome case. Hope people are enjoying it so far. And I'm until, enjoying this. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.